Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at some new fancy hardware for my studio. Um, so I want to get into making some more things outside of paint. So I want to make things like custom cut stickers, um, sticker sheets and all sorts of things like that. Um, so starting off, I thought that I would pick up the Cricut Joy. So if you look on Amazon, you can sometimes find the Cricut machines officially and brand new. Um, sold at a discount every now and then, they sell them at a discount. I think the Cricut Joy is normally sold around £150, £160 on discount. Normally I think it's close to 200 And then the Cricut Explore or Air 3 I think is normally about 300 That sometimes knock it down to about 250 So I decided to bite the bullet and I got a Cricut Joy machine because they were a little bit cheaper. I made use of course of Amazon's buy now pay later scheme where you can pay in installments so it made it a bit cheaper um, short term for me which is nice and I just unbox it and I take a look at it unfortunately as you'll see in the end of the video this turned out to be a massive fail of a machine um, but we'll get to that um, a little bit later on and why it was such a fail but let's just focus on the machine and what it's like at the moment and it's a very nice small compact machine it will fit anywhere um, it's really nice. It's also portable as well. It's really good to be portable if you're looking for a machine that cuts things portable. It comes with all the kit in the box, so the machine, the plug, the socket, um, the pen, uh, the cutter, and yeah, it also comes with a mat as well for the Cricut Joy. It's a very cute machine. It's a very nice colour, very small. I do like the look of it. It's a really nice machine. I'm really disappointed that it didn't work out because it is a super cool machine. And yeah, I think it's pretty close to the Cricut Air Explorer for what I want it for. Um, so for those of you who don't know, all the different Cricut machines cut sort of slightly different materials sometimes. So the Cricut Enjoyer can cut up to so many materials and then the Cricut Explorer Air can cut up to so many more materials. And then the Cricut Maker, which is a top tier machine, which is super expensive, cuts like every material going. Um, but from what most creators probably want, the Cricut Joy cuts them all. So things like vinyl, um, shrinking ink plastic sort of stuff, card, paper, that sort of stuff. Most of the things that most artists are probably going to be wanting to do, it will cut. I also think it might be able to cut fabric, the Joy. I know the Cricut Air can. But yeah, you can also get it with some different attachments like pens and stuff as well. But most people tend to use it for the pens or the cutting tool, which comes with it. So just unpacking it here, getting it ready for use. So this is the reason I wanted to invest in one. I've made some enamel pin badges before and stickers before, but they kind of didn't sell too well. And I think the main reason they didn't sell very well is because they weren't kiss cut. So when we say by kiss cut or die cut, it means it the it, it means it's cut around the shape. Um, so it's not the big white gaps around it, which you can see in the sticker and the pin badge there, which I think a lot more people prefer. Like the stickers I have sold, most people said that it, it did cut it around the shape and cut it down so that it was die cut, which is kind of what I want to do. So yeah, I have played around. My mum has a Cricut Explore Air 2. And I played around with her machine and I have actually made some stickers which ended up being kiss cut stickers rather than die cut, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So these are the kiss cut stickers, so they peel off the, the paper. This one's I made on her machine and they peel off nicely. So if you want, if you want to do like sticker sheets, this is the way that I would do it and use a kiss cut feature. Um, so it just shallow cuts it, so it just peels right off. Um, or you can die cut it where it'll cut it all out completely. This is really tedious to do by hand and it would take me hours and hours to do by hand. So I, I don't really want to do it by hand, which is why I was looking at investing in a machine. And obviously the Cricut Joy being the cheapest of them, it being quite nice, small and compact, not going to take up a lot of space in my studio. I thought it was a good option to go for. How I couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> um, the way Cricut operates is it has a, a its own app both on mobile or cell phone and on PC as well. So you can put your artwork into there and decide how you want it cut, how deep you want the cut to go and how you want it to cut and etc. like that. Um, 
the Cricket Joy has very limited options of what it can do compared to the Explore family and the Maker family. So just be warned. Um, the Maker and Explore families have a feature called Print and Cut, so that you can send your image straight to the printer and then cut it out. The Joy does not have this feature. I'll talk about it a little bit more in a moment, but that's kind of why it was a fail. So I'm just setting up the machine here. When you get a new Cricut machine, regardless what model you get, you kind of have to set it up and do their intro feature. It basically calibrates the machine so that it knows where it's cutting and so that it's accurate. And it does a test cut. It provides a little um, sheet of vinyl here that you can see for practice. So it just cut a shape. I think there are some shapes you can choose from. You can go with a mountain shape. And it's just to test the machine. So yeah, I guess um, things didn't quite work out with the Cricut Joy. Um, you might have just seen that video of me putting it all together and it all looking nice and it all looking fancy. But yeah, Cricut Joy just did not want to work at all. So essentially what was wrong with it is um, the big difference between the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Air and the Cricut Makers is that those bigger machines have a feature called a scan and cut. So you can print your stickers directly and then take them from the printer and then it, it's got like a sensor that marks like the paper and then it will cut the shapes out. That feature does not exist on the Cricut Joy. Um, there is a hack that basically you can get around it where you draw a template using the machine and their software onto the sticky map and then switching your settings and on their software to a machine that can do scan and cut and then printing it and then switching back and it should then cut the shape out. I'm going to leave a thing down to a video that explains it a little bit better than what I am doing so. But essentially that just did not work. The printer kept printing the image several millimetres too small or several millimetres too big, no matter what setting I kind of put it on. So that kind of rendered the feature kind of useless and therefore the machine kind of useless because if I can't cut my own custom shapes it's kind of pointless. And I don't really want to do like CSVs and buy things like that because I don't want someone else as far as I want my own custom artwork and stickers and other bits that I want to use it for. So yeah, it was a massive fail. Um, I spoke to Cricut's customer support and basically went back and forth for about two weeks and I didn't really get anywhere with them. Um, so I, I thought it was best to send the machine back through Amazon. They've got like a return feature that makes it super easy. So I sent it back through them because I think my plan moving forward is to design stickers and sticker sheets and other bits and then maybe use my mum's machine to um, to make them and then play with, the, play with that and sort of see where we go with that because I'm imagining it's not going to be super popular to start with so I can kind of borrow her machine for a bit and then hopefully when I see the Cricut, Maker, no, Cricut Air Explorer in a sale I'll nab that because on sale they're probably about £240, still very expensive but um, definitely a lot cheaper than what they are at the moment which is about £300 so it's still a good saving but yeah so it's a shame that it was a massive fail with the Cricut Joy because it was a very nice and very compact machine and I really wish it worked but yeah just to kind of let you guys know this one's a fail and why and if you're considering getting the Cricut, Cricut Joy for that purpose of making stickers and other custom cutouts I would recommend maybe not doing so. <laughs> Maybe just saving up or investing in the Explorer 2 or 3, whichever is out at the moment. Maybe it might be the best deal for you if you're looking for a cutting machine. Um, I can't speak on other machines or other brands because I not really use them, but yeah, that's my sort of two cents on this. 
So I think we're going to say goodbye, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.